Hello everyone, welcome back to VLSI Academy. This is third lecture on Perl programming language and today we will begin with something called as lists in Perl. When we define a scalar variable such as this, it is nothing but a list with one scalar variable. When we define an array like this, it is nothing but a list with collection of different items. And we define a hash like this, it is nothing but a list with different key value pairs. Hence in above examples, all three lists are of scalar array and hash type. Hence an array is a variable, but all of Perl's data type, scalar, array and hash can provide a list, which is simply an ordered or unordered set of scalars. Moving on, generally speaking, lists are collection of scalars. This is a list of characters. This is a list of integers. This is a list of strings. As you can see, you use the parentheses and comma operators to construct a list. Each value in the list is called a list element. List elements are indexed and order. You can refer to each element by its position. So from now on, we will refer to all the arrays as lists only, as this is a common terminology in the Perl platform. Now, as we know, list is a collection of scalars, hence it is also ordered and can be referenced with the index values. This is how we declare the list and to access its element, we just have to specify the index value in the list name. And since it is a scalar value, we just have to specify the prefix with the dollar. We can also access list element from the last. The last element index will be minus one. So when you run it in the command line, fourth element of the output will be OMA and when the you run the second line in the command line output should be Suresh. Moving on to other features of list is list slicing. So you can assign from one array a slice to the other array. So the Perl interpreter has no problem with this statement because it copies the list stored in one, three and five location into a temporary location, which is invisible to the user before assigning it to the new names zero, one and two. So how do you do is first you will declare this name list and after that you will assign it to new list, new name list. So name one, three, five will go to new name zero, one, two and print new name of one will give output and command line as Manju, which is this variable here. That's all for today. We will see more features of list in next video. Please share and subscribe to the channel for more updates. Thank you.